Hey guys, so I came with another hairstyle using the crochet method, and I'm just gonna get into it. If you want to know how I did this, stay tuned. So, as you can see, I basically parted my hair into three sections, and the top section is where you're going to be crocheting your hair, so you just leave that for the last. So, starting with one half of the back, I parted that in half, and I just braided the bottom half of it going straight to the middle part you'll see in a picture coming up and for the top part I started from the front here is basically a, vis a visual of how it all came out you can do whatever braiding pattern you want it's your hair you know whatever style you want for the back the pin up or whatever you can do that but this is what I chose to do now, if you're a little lazy like I am, you can rock this hairstyle for like one or two days and then go on to the remaining of the hairstyle. Or you can just go to the next step right away. And what I did was I just placed about five big plaits in my hair. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to be crocheted anyway. And then you can take whatever hair you have. I use Kanakalon and honestly this is just some old hair that I found that I have already used. I kept them. Thank God I did. So yeah, this is just me showing you how I obtained the curls. You can use whatever size perm rocks you want. I used these small pink ones and a few of the white ones as well. And as you can see, if you don't hold on to it, it's gonna unravel simply because it's not already crocheted to your hair like usual. I decided to curl everything before putting it on my head. It made it a lot easier for me. So yeah, just wrap it, wrap it around and what I did was I placed it in the hot water for a few minutes and after that I left it to dry overnight. So the next morning I just unraveled it and this is basically what I got from it. So I did about 30 of these. Since there are 5 plaits, I placed 6 um, curls on each plait to even it out. You can do a lot more but that's all I really needed for the buying that I'm trying to obtain. So here's how I place them in, you know, the regular way of crocheting. The only difference is that the hair is already curled before you're um, putting it onto your braid. Now I don't know if you noticed, well it's very obvious, but um, I braided those big plaits all the way to the tips just like I did with the smaller braids in the back and you'll see how I move them out of the way so it doesn't look all retarded or anything just you know worry about the front part and crochet it as close or as far as you need to pull it out how you want it and those braids will deal with themselves later on in the video the whole point of this hairstyle was so that i can let my hair you know take a break and not bother with it and protect my ends so yeah, after you're done, you wanna just separate the curls, you know, open up some of them. You can leave them closed if you have a lot, but I only use 30, so I need it to pull out a bit more. I swear, every time I try to record early for you guys, like after 7 a.m., the sun beats my face oh so bad, I can barely see. But yeah, you wanna just go and pin your hair up all I did was twisted the hair basically in a flat twist if you want to call it that yeah a flat twist and I added the braids as I went up and then I just pinned them down And for the braids that are a lot bigger, I didn't add them to the pin up. I simply gathered them, um, section them in half, and crisscrossed it, and then pinned it down. <laughs> Leave it.
up to us females and we'll turn anything into like a photo session. But yeah, all you want to do is shape it up, you know, cut it to the length you want it, fix it however you want. You can open up some more of the curls and basically that's it. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if you have any questions or comments, concerns, requests, just leave them down in the comment section. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video.